CBS The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers reveal that Carter has made an offer to help the company achieve more success. He invited Ivy and Electra to Los Angeles. As long as their jewelry project is successful, it can revive the hope for the future project. Carter has really put in a lot of effort to make Hope happy. If Carter's idea makes things worse, Carter will definitely be implicated. And things are not simple. This is a very important step, so Steffi, Ridge, and Eric need to discuss it carefully to make a final decision. Perhaps they do not know that Carter does this for his own purposes. They think that Carter wants to do something good for the company, so he interferes deeply in this matter. Zenda visits Luna in prison. Perhaps Zendi is a rare person to visit Luna. Luna has done many evil acts, everyone hates her. And Luna also determined that no one would come to visit her. Luna was very happy. She did not expect Zenda to visit her. Luna had deceived Zende's feelings and used him. Luna thought that Zende hated her after everything was exposed. However, if Zende came here, it proved that Zende did not hate Luna like the others. Zende confessed that he still had feelings for her. Even if Luna was in prison, it would not affect Zende at all. He was willing to wait for her to get out of prison, and they would fall in love. Zende's confession really surprised Luna. Will Luna agree to this promise? Carter and Hope are gradually becoming closer, which makes Carter want to do something for Hope. He wants to prove that his feelings for Hope are sincere. Carter helped Hope revive the Hope for the Future project. Although the outcome is unknown, Carter tried his best to protect the project. This more or less touched Hope. Carter also meets Deacon at Il Giardino. He tells Carter that he is trying his best to make Hope's job easier. Hopefully, Carter's request will be approved by Steffi, Ridge, and Eric. In addition to Deacon, Carter also meets Sheila here. Sheila is wearing a witch costume for Halloween. I wonder if Sheila and Carter have any discussions. Or is Sheila just serving Carter?